Hey, this is Jerry Wayne Higginbotham, and uh, we're gonna show y'all. We're gonna do today. We're gonna show y'all how to cook up a pie. And uh, uh, this is a very, this is a, uh, uh, just the most amazing Southern delicacy you've ever, you, you ever had. Now, first of all, you're gonna have to procure yourself a pie. And uh, now, before you go and you lop its head off, uh, you want to feed it on cornbread for three days. It looks kind of like a cross between a rat and a rabbit it cooks up about the same now after you've done fed it on cornbread for three days because possums tend to eat things that buzzards won't like other dead buzzards so you want to clean it out all good on cornbread and apples and uh well you know for the rest of it just procure it however you feel best uh in a, you know somewhat humane manner and uh, once you stripped all the hide off and everything and cleaned it up wash it up good then uh what you, you want to soak it in salt water overnight. And after that, go about and make yourself up a nice pan of a cornbread stuffing, like you would stuff up into a turkey. Throw a little an, uh, andouille or uh, some uh, boudin there, some good old Cajun sausage. All right, and uh, now we're gonna show you how to stuff that thing up here. You want to just fill up the inside of it, and uh, Will someone please we're gonna just stuff it all up inside of it. There, you want the you want your stuff in the cool. We don't feel the, oh, a very important. Trim off all the fat, or else it's gonna stink like the devil's ass while you're cooking it. Needless to say, you ain't gonna want to eat it afterwards. Now we're gonna fill that all, press it all up in there, press it up in there good. Okay, now wipe your hands off on your apron real good, and uh. We're gonna take a, some needle and thread here and just kind of stitch it on up, starting down at the butt. Just sort of stitch it back and forth. Sew it up real good. Pack it. You know, make sure you got all that stuffing all packed in there good. They just the whole the ideal is here. We want to keep the stuffing inside, unlike a turkey. This is all split open on the bottom here. Now if you're using a roadkill possum, depends on how much of it's left in order to get, in order to be able to sew it back together. That's very important whether or not you gotta use a fresh or roadkill. And if you are using roadkill, make sure, you see if you can find out what it was eating on out in the middle of the road before it got hit. Very important as to determining what the flavor is gonna taste like. And, and we're going to sew this thing on up here. Once we got it all sewed up, tied off, make sure the stuffing ain't going to fall out because that's the whole point. We'll keep it inside. Make sure you trimmed off all the excess fat. And we're going to set her right down. We're going to put a little bit of little bit of oil or bacon fat or lard or something down the bottom of the pan. You ain't gonna need a whole lot because the possum's an awful greasy little bastard there. And uh, roll that oil around, smear it around real good. And we're gonna lay the possum right down in it. Now if you want to leave the head on it, I'd recommend take a small apple and stuff in its mouth. Yeah, let's say arrange the tail around there nice and pretty. Like, or you can save the tail for some possum tail soup. And yeah, we're going to arrange that around like that. And next up we want to surround it with some uh, sweet taters. And uh, you got any leftover stuffing, you can, you know, if you got a whole lot, you can put it on a bed of stuffing. Or, but you want to save the juices so we can baste it in it later. Now, uh, we'll save this stuff and just to serve on the side. Okay, now you want to chop yourself up about two or three good sized sweet taters. Make sure you wash them off real good. And uh, we want to arrange them all around our, uh, our possum here. Lay them all around them nice like that. They gonna cook up in the juices real nice and roast up in that. And uh, that ain't all. We got more to do too. Now we done soaked it overnight in salt water, so we gonna salt and pepper it up a little bit too there. Just to sort of toss them all around it. 
Yeah, I like it. Yeah, they'll cook up. They'll cook up. All right, now, uh, oh, one last thing. You gotta have a couple of strips of bacon. I'm gonna, cover, I'm gonna, lay, I'm gonna lay a few strips of good, uh, some good hickory smoked uh, peppered bacon on it. There we go. Yeah, Smith's Night Air, yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna lay it right across it like that. Lay it right across his back, just like that. That's it. That's it. Pin it on if we need to. I don't think it's necessary. Let's throw us a little uh, dash of pepper on it. On the rest of it. There we go. Just a little bit. Ah. Now if you got you some nice, uh, oh, maybe throw a little, you well, got a little moonshine. We'll save that up with the drippings for some gravy. All right. Now we are ready to roast our possum. We're going to have our oven, let's have our oven preheated to about uh, 350, uh, depending on what you're using. If you got one like this, it's just going to some of them variables and it's a science to it. Uh, we're going to start it off roasting first uh, for a little while until we start the drippings start to collect down there. And we'll take him, suck him drippings up and drip it all over the rest of it and keep it all basted up good, all right? Okay, we'll be back in a little while to see a check on it, see how it's doing then. Mention a spice. Uh, oh, what's the name of that spice? Uh, oh, it, uh, you know, it's it, it, it's spice. It uh, comes from an herb or something or other. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, something that ought to make it taste a little better. Well, uh, I can't think of it right now, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, some kind of spice there. You know, they, they they get from some kind of herb. Anyway, you know. So I'll kind of help it out a little bit, but just kind of suck it on up there and baste it all over it. Ah, get it nice and tender. And that bacon's going to drip down into it, sweeten her up a little bit more, too. Back and we're about ready to carve this sucker. One last important thing, one thing I thought of, didn't think about to you before, and that would have done before y'all when y'all wasn't looking here. I took it out of the out of the oven here. I pushed all the sweet taters aside, and there's lots of juice all built up there. Now that's just about coming off the bone. That's about where you want it, where all the fat's melted up in it. This is pretty skinny, so I ain't got that much fat on it. So ain't that much hidden up in there. So then we're gonna take the rest of that dressing, we're gonna stick it all around there at the end, just like that. And then it's going to soak it all back up. So we're going to put it back in the oven for about another, uh, oh, about another half hour or so. And by then it'll all be ready. And we're going to serve that up with a side of uh, uh, cabbage sauteed and, and pure hog fat. And uh, some, some uh, pinter beans, pinto beans. And uh, I think we got some boiled beets too. So uh, serve that all together and uh, enjoy your uh, very first uh, roast possum dinner. And you're just the kind of woman that he preys on.